for a win three, but at 3.46, Simon Novello starting a water still taking place this afternoon in central London. And here's Colin Patterson. Yep, and in all about success in the States, it's Muse. They have been given the International and International Achievement Award at today's Ivor Novellos, and are now joined by Matt, Dom and Chris from the band. That was quite a, a ceremony going on up there. Joe Wiley expressing her love for the band, and what does that mean to Muse to win that award, Matt? That was great, yeah. I think Joe made a lovely speech. Um, she embarrassed me by saying <laughs> everyone's going to go and check out some website with pictures of me drunk, and like, uh, like but apart from that... Is that a real website? It, you know, it's like, I know, the Facebook page. I think, yeah, something about me being drunk, I, I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, no, it was lovely, she did a... Uh... As those telegrams from the German Foreign Ministry reveal, Berlin saw them as a sort of secret weapon, a dangerous virus that would foment revolution and force Russia to withdraw from the war. So the Germans put them in a sealed train and whisked them eastwards across Europe. After a detour through Scandinavia, Lenin and co pulled into this station on the 3rd of April, 1917. <laughs> United, and the Bolsheviks were a minor player with more idea of what they wanted to destroy than what they wanted to create. Lenin was most certainly not in control. You and your mate, and you think, oh, I'm in the passenger seat, I'm just going to stretch over, get some sandwiches out the back. And all of a sudden, as you stretch, you push your feet down on the platform and you break the car very fast. And it goes from 70 to 50 and everybody looks and says, how did that happen? Chris, do that for me slowly. So you're, this is not the driving side. Yeah.